Kanji then plays the ball to Rodri. Walker now having his shirt pulled by Ben Rama. No yellow card there given by the referee. Walker takes the free kick quickly. Nunez out to Silva now on the right-hand side. Back to Nunez. Cuts inside. Pakatar. Pakatar looking a little bit jaded now, a little bit tired. He's put a real shift in. Six minutes of normal time left to play. West Ham just looking a little leg weary now, just beginning to paddle a few of these players. Haven't quite got the zip left in their legs that they did for the preceding 83 minutes. As Manchester City look to just try and pull them apart, pick them off slowly now. Nunes, ambitious ball out to Silva's cut out. Alvarez for Manchester City. Plays the ball to Haaland. Left-hand side of the penalty area towards the touchline. No one in the box. He's got Doku outside him now, though, Haaland. Doku plays the ball to Gvardiol. Gvardiol dispossessed by Kudos. Potential counter-attack here for West Ham is poo-pooed by the referee. Referee says it was a foul on Gvardiol by Kudos. You have to say that looks a little bit harsh on the Ghanaian winger there. Certainly won the ball. He did take a little bit of the man as well. Not a lot of him, you have to say. Two substitutions now. Inbound for West Ham, Danny Ings, and he's certainly coming on. Slightly fruitless campaign for him last season, only two league goals. As I think warming up on the sidelines is Tilo Kera as well. Manchester City take the free kick short. Doku's ball out to Alvarez is cut out. Wins it back off Kudus, though, does Doku. Skips inside two West Ham defenders. Can't skip in inside a third. And Suchek cleans up for Manchester City. Ward-Prowse with a cute ball out to Kudus. Hopeful ball up towards Ben Rama from him is mopped up by Akanji. Akanji putting a real shift in to give Edison a, a second option from the pass. He had... Diaz and Walker there as well. Walker it is who picks up the ball from Akanji with Bernardo Silva dropping back into that right back position to support his teammates. Akanji, ball up to Alvarez on the edge of the centre circle inside his own half. He's found Bernardo Silva marauding into West Ham territory here. Rodri's making a run forwards. Haaland is there. Will this be Haaland's moment? You know it's Haaland's moment. He just cannot be denied. The Norwegian goal machine strikes again for Manchester City. It looked for long periods of this game like it just wasn't going to be his afternoon. Alphonse Ariola has had a magnificent game in the West Ham goal. But Erling Haaland, at eighth or ninth time of asking, has scored a really smart goal on the counter-attack here for Man City. It was... Created by Bernardo Silva, Matthias Nunes made the run to distract the West Ham defence and just create a little pocket of space for Erling Haaland, who almost shaped at one point like he was going to shoot near post for Areola, who was just off his line, just a little flat-footed as the ball was struck. And he wasn't to be denied, lashed the ball with his left foot into the far corner, and despite playing really well, it must be said, they've played really well here, West Ham, all things considered. Considering the the gulf in the finances at the two clubs, the facilities at their disposal as well, they've made a real go of it here. Manchester City fans doing the Poznan in celebration. And delighted to see their goal their side three goals to one up here a goal down at half time Jeremy Doku scored inside the first minute of the second period they bided their time and eventually went ahead through Bernardo Silva on the 76th minute before 10 minutes later that man Erling Haaland scored for his side and in the fixture where he really first announced himself in the Premier League last season, he scored another goal. For those of you like me who uh, captain Erling Haaland in your fantasy league team every single week, I'm 
I'm sure you'll be pleased with that. Shout out to his strike mate, Julian Alvarez, by the way, who assisted both of the first two goals. He's had a really impressive game as well. Julian Alvarez cracked the post as Kudus goes down under the challenge from Rodri. Rodri's going to go into the referee's book now. 